So I wanted to share just five tips about the evolution of my practice and how I believe this has led to many less complications and better outcomes. So the first thing is I always do a pre-surgical angiogram. And the reason why I do a pre-surgical angiogram is because we always know measure twice, cut once. And so this, this ability to think, to look it over, to run it over with, with people, to make sure you have the right tools, if you need this type of stint, this type of glue, it's very important. So that pre-surgical angio gives you that space. And so you need to, two is really create space, meaning don't do things right away. Give it at least a day or a week to think about it. Three, you should always have plan A, B, C, and D. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do this, all right? And then four is basically always have things set up in the same way and always have almost like a neural angio code. Like if this happens, then I'm gonna do this, right? If something happens, always take five seconds and say, okay, I've gone through my mind, what am I gonna do? You should always know if you have an intraop rupture, what to do. If you have a catheter perf, what, what to do. All this stuff needs to be automatic, but I have a code sheet. Just like when I was a neuro ICU fellow, I knew how to run any neuro code, when an EVD is needed, when 23% mannitol, everything's gotta be up here so it's automatic, right? And you have to stay calm, so everyone allows you stays calm. So as you know, Feelings are contagious and the energy you bring as a physician is very important. If you stay calm and thinking the angio suite, all of it, the nurses and techs, the anesthesia, everybody is the same, okay? And also it's very important, the reps too, because the reps have so much experience too. So if you're all anxious as what, well, they may feel intimidated and no one's gonna share that experience. And so this is very important. And number five is CKS, which is continuous knowledge sharing. This is something I've been talking about ever since I was a resident at Barrow, but then a fellow at Stanford Medical College of Wisconsin uh, during neuroendovascular training is share what you know, but also this invites people to share what they know. Um, and really this also, this number five is also seek out advice, right? Um, believe me, people are willing to help, especially if you're helping as well. And so this is how it works. If you want to be good, think, create space, have plans, be humble, ask, ask for advice and, sh and, and share with others and create a space that is causing psychological safety for everyone around you so they help you. Thank you.